Hello and welcome to my screencast. This is David Strom. Migrating apps and services into the cloud used to be complex, but Cloud Velocity has a new solution that can greatly simplify matters. Here we're looking at the One Hybrid Cloud dashboard, where you can see our protected systems, bandwidth usage statistics, and relevant status messages. The software covers three different use cases, the ability to clone particular on-premises apps to the cloud or migrate them permanently, or being able to fail over your apps quickly for certain disaster recovery scenarios. Let's show you how OHC works with a sample fourth server Sugar CRM app that we've running on Rackspace and we want to move over to Amazon Web Services with a secure encrypted tunnel. First, you add a new application and it discovers your servers and any other dependencies such as LDAP or NFS. You drag and drop the servers to their appropriate places on the network diagram as you see here depending on whether we want the servers exposed to the public internet on the right or just on our internal network on the left. As part of the cloning or migration process, you can specify particular subsets of your file systems to be copied over. Once you click on the Protect button, you are done. It's so easy. We go back to the Clone App screen and you can click on the particular app we just created and when we scroll down, we can see the details about the particular servers that are set up, their local and external IP addresses, and any other security rules that were automatically applied. Unlike its competitors, for OHC, you don't have to redesign your network infrastructure or copy each individual server one at a time. The entire application server collection is preserved intact, which cuts down on configuration errors. One drawback is that you currently can't mix Windows and Linux servers in the same application you have to choose one family or the other in your clones, something Cloud Velocity is working on changing. Here you see the range of Linux OX support available. As part of the discovery process, OHC automatically downloads its software to your servers to handle synchronization back to the cloud. This includes all of your data and system info, along with network and storage configurations. There are two things I liked about OHC. First is if you want to make a new copy of your app and related services, you just click again to launch a new clone using the latest system state. This is great for test dev environments where you want to spin up a bunch of VMs to try out a new patch or build or set up a new sandbox. Each environment operates independently and when you're done, you can stop or destroy the instance. Second, OHC can migrate both physical and virtual servers to the cloud while some of its competitors can't handle both. Right now, Amazon is the sole destination for the migration, but Cloud Velocity plans on adding Azure and Rackspace soon. You can register for a free trial at the URL here. Thanks for watching. This is David Strom. You can check out my other screencasts at webinformant.tv, book me for a speaking engagement, and read my other articles and sign up for my email list at these links here.